Victory is supported by Chandler Lodge, 227 of the Free and Accepted Order of Masons. Greetings and welcome to BCTV. Be informed, be involved. Hi, I'm Tom Frank, your Victory host. Hey, we're live here on location at the Brooks County Historical Society, right off of Center Avenue. It's a very special night tonight. This is the Brooks County inductee night of the Brooks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We're going to be talking to a few of the stars tonight, the inductees, and more importantly, showing you more of an inside look here at the Berks County Historical Society. Well, we're standing live in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame here in the Berks County Historical Society, right off of Center Avenue. We have one of the musicians. He's representing a great group. This is Jeffrey. Jeffrey, tell us about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and you being inducted tonight. Well, this started back pretty long ago, but uh, the band I'm get, getting in, in inducted to is uh, the band called Webb. We were a rock and roll band back in uh, uh, late 70s to early 80s. Wow. Yes. Been doing it a long time. Now, all the names behind us here on the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, quite a few mus musicians are here, uh, a lot of bands. Tell us about some of the bands that you might have played with in the past and some of the other individuals. Oh, there's, there's quite a few up here. Uh, let's see. Even Fog Hat made it in. Remember the band Fog Hat? Yeah. They're in too. Uh, we got uh, Wells Fargo, Pawn Shop Boys, Bound. There's a lot of people from years that are even deceased that are on here on the board too. And this one individual guy right here. That would be, that would be you right here, buddy. 2018 inducted into the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We're in that room and as you can see it's really exciting to be here because it it looks like you just took a step back into Woodstock and you probably were going to Woodstock. I was around for Woodstock. Yeah. Never made it. Never made it. Did you got stuck in traffic. No. No, never got that far. Not out of PA. Well, you know this year is the 50th anniversary a Woodstock. August of 1969, what a monument task to have put that on in upstate New York, just over the PA border, not far. What an event it was to see all of the musicians that came. The Jimi Hendrix, Joe, Joe Cocker. Tell us about that. Wow, you even had Jimi Hendrix playing the old guitar there. Yeah. Great sound, great sound. And John Fogarty, he's going back this year again. Yes. And he, yes, and the Creed and Clearwater played there in 69, and John Fogarty is playing this year. Was Mama was Mama Cass there? That I'm not sure. Um, they had, like Grateful Dead might have been part of it? Yes, they were there. They were there. What an event. And here it is 50 years later. But many Berks Countyans who are tuned in watching the Victory Show here on BCTV probably don't even know that this room does exist, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And it's right off of Center Avenue in the Berks County Historical Society building. And I'd like to thank them to have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame here at the Historic Society here. Because this meant a lot to a lot of musicians, really. Like, we played for years and years, and this is, wow, we actually have something to say something about. So if you really wanted to go 50 years ago to Woodstock and you never had a chance to make it like Jeffrey, you come in this room, it's like stepping back in time. Yeah. Oh, yes. Look at some of the items they have here. You'll, you'll take notice. <laughs> this is the stuff we were wearing back then. Well, on behalf of Victory on BCTV, allow us to congratulate you and all the others that are being inducted into the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame tonight at this great momentous event right off of Center Avenue. We are inside the Berks County Historical Society building. A lot going on. Check them out, give them a Google search, and more importantly, become a friend on Facebook to find out more. And come out and see the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, we found someone very special tonight, one of the hidden heroes, Syme. Tell us what's going on tonight inside the Berks History Center. Okay. This is our annual awards for the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 
this event got started probably about five years ago. <clears throat> it was an offshoot of an exhibit that we were holding called The Magical History Tour, A Musical Cultural Happening. And it was focused on the bands, both nationally and internationally, but more importantly, the bands that played here in Reading and Berks County back in the 60s and the 70s, because we always try and focus on local history. Yeah. So, with that said, we had that exhibit, and then a good friend and supporter of ours, Dave Klein, asked the question, you know, would you like to have a concert? We ought to do something with this. And that was a natural. So we held our first uh, Magical History Tour concert back in 2015. Okay. And all the musicians that played for that concert did so free of charge. They practiced, they performed the day of, and donated all their services to the to the History Center. And the question was, well, how do you repay that kind of generosity? And so we just decided, well, you know, why don't we have a Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? And one thing led to another, and so that any band member who played, and we've had five of these concerts, yeah, any band member that played for the uh, Magical History Tour we would recognize in the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. After that, there were so many people <clears throat> that were saying, well, you know, there's a lot of other musicians who deserve recognition. So we introduced a People's Choice Award, and people could submit names, they would get voted on, and we did this through our uh, Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Facebook page, as well as our Magical History Tour Facebook page. and. Like I said, people voted on these people, so now we have a People's Choice Award for living and deceased musicians, as well as a, um, a band, People's Choice Band nomination. So, what you're going to see here tonight at 7 o'clock are the people who played la at last year's Magical History Tour concert, as well as the uh, People's Choice Awards of people who won. So, it's really a great event, and it really just showcases... The, you know, the, just the historic legacy of music in, in Reading and Berks County. And that's pretty much it. That's a fabulous effort that you and your staff has been putting on. We were earlier back in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame room interviewing with, with Jeffrey. Okay. And uh, what a place. So I stood, I thought I walked back in time and during Woodstock, as you know, celebrating 50 years Absolutely. this year. What an event. I bet you probably might have been at Woodstock. I was not, and I'll be the, and honest enough to admit, I was not at Woodstock at the time. I was, I think I was 13 years old, so I was a little bit young for that, uh, but I know I have a lot of friends that were at Woodstock. Uh, the Black Light Room, as again, was an inspiration of mine because I had a room exactly like that, so when we installed the exhibit, I said, this is, said to our curators, this is how we want to do it. They disagreed with me at first. I said, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, for sure. I thought it probably was exactly how your bedroom was set up oh, well, back in the 60s. Black light posters, black walls, uh, black lights. Um, yeah, it was great. All the record albums, the music was a great part of the day. Give us some names that are here tonight. I know Carl Hausman will be inducted tonight. Give us some other names that some of the home viewers tuned in tonight might recognize those names. And more importantly, see what Berks County is enriched with all this talent right here at the Berks History Center. Absolutely, no question. I can't remember them all offhand because as you can see, we have approximately, well, 34 individuals in addition to eight bands that are, uh, that are here. But we have people like David Cullen, uh, Mark DeLucchia, uh, let's see, uh, Michael Eben, Randy Gartner, Jerry Garrett, Pat Garrett, um, you know, to name a few, Andrew Capps. So we really have bands, bands uh, Foreplay, the Slut Brothers, Pride and Joys, Steel, Musical Chaos, The Pretenders, W.E.B., and Go Go Gorilla. So a lot of those names I bet are ringing with the home viewers. I remember them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were a great sound, and it's all happening here right now tonight at the Berks History Center. This is an event that's ongoing every year. Oh, yeah, we've been doing it. For the past, we've had six of them so far. So yeah. Now, how can they find you on the web, Facebook? How can people follow you? Very easy. You can go to berkshistory.org. That's the uh, Facebook page, or the uh, excuse me, that is the website for the Berks History Center. You can go to the Berks History Center Facebook page. You can go to the uh, Magical History Tour Facebook page, or the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame page, Facebook page. 
to find out all the information you need, programs, exhibits, that type of thing. Yeah. Now, some people might have known this as the Berks County Historical Society. Same location, but a different name. It's the Berks History Center. Yes, actually, the official name still is the Historical Society of Berks County doing business as Berks History Center. We just felt that Berks History Center was a little bit more inc inclusive, uh, you know, a little bit more outreach. Uh, society can sometimes be a little bit more exclusive and we are an inclusive organization we want to make sure all the residents of Berks County know that this center is here for them Berks history center dot org yes a Berks history dot org very good tell us what's going on behind us in the reception room right now you've just got people that are coming in you have a lot of uh, uh, family members of inductees in the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame they're here to celebrate the their you know their family member being inducted and it's just they're here for the ceremony for fellowship to have some refreshments and that's about it and just a good time a lot of big fans here as well following their groups their musicians a lot of fans support this uh, absolutely yeah well as you can see we'll probably have close to 100 people here tonight i think if not more yeah so there you have it. Make sure next year, if you miss tonight, we're happy to bring it to you through BCTV. But come out next year, follow them on Google them, where you can find them real easy, come out to the next event, and meet with some of the great talent of Berks County. That's great. We'd love to have everybody out here. Thanks so much for taking the time out and meeting us here on the Victory Program on BCTV. Absolutely. Sam, tell us about all of your career path in the music industry. I know it's a lot. If you can recap it for the home viewers of Berks County, I'm sure there's a lot of people right now recognizing you because of your- I've been around a long time. Because of not only your name, but your band. Tell us about that band. Well, it actually wasn't a band in the beginning. It was 1959. I think we were, the, we were back then in 1958, 1959, on Friday and Saturday nights, we would get together at at Sixth and Penn Street and sing doo-wop. Really? Every you know That's before awesome. before and after the dances at the Y and St. Margaret's and all that. So we we would get together all us Italian guys. We'd get together and sing doo-wop at Sixth and Penn, and then out of that, uh, Skip Peacherbone um, asked me to join the Pretenders. He was trying to get a doo-wop group together, so. We started rehearsing at his house, and guys came and went, and with the original band uh, vocal group got together, and we named ourselves the Pretenders. And so we started singing around town at all the dances and everywhere. Then we recorded uh, several 45s, and we stayed together for till 64. And uh, singing everywhere, we were, uh, and then the fr we sang. There was a big rock and roll show in 1962 at St. Mary's with Chubby Checker, Freddie Cannon, Little Anthony and the Imperials, Patti LaBelle and the Blue Bells, the Chiffons, the Shirelles, and we opened the show. Oh my gosh. Now we were just kids. Yeah, we were still. 17, 18 years old. What, a, what an experience so, that had to be. Yeah, it was. And uh, I don't think we realized how big a deal it was at the time. I don't remember. Um, but that was a big deal. Because we were just kids. So from then on, I mean, we, we sang everywhere, recorded. And in 1964, I left the group and I started a soul dance band. We were, we were covering the Stax label. And that was called Tally and the Hustlers. And that came from a last name. Tally. Tally. Yeah. Tell us about the tally. tally and the Hustlers. We were a dynamite dance band. We played, we went on the road, played the circuit. We played Atlantic City all summer at some clubs. And, um, and then I had, to, <laughs> I had to go back to work. I had a wife and two kids. So I left the band in late 68. And then Bobby Newton took my place. And Bobby Newton's been around a long time. He's an inductee. He's, uh, he's been around forever. So he took my place and kept the band going for a while. I went back to work. So then in 1993, somebody asked uh, some of the pre pretenders if we would get back together to open the oldie show at the um, Scenic River Days. Yeah. And so... 
they called me, wanted to know if I was into it. I said, yeah, let's go. So we rehearsed for two months from scratch and put a, a really good show together. And we opened that show. And the Skyliners, the Platters, the Five Satins, the Dell Vikings, they were all there. It was a big show. And we opened that show. And we had so much fun and, and people loved it so much that we stayed together for another couple of years and we, we did, started singing around, doing a lot of shows. We did a big show at the Stokes A in 95 and that was a big deal. It was something for Shorty Long and Dolly Dimples. And uh, so in between there, I did a lot of things too. Actually, I worked for George Herbert Walker Bush for a while as a photographer. He used to take me fishing with him and to, to do the photography. So I spent 25 years shooting professional outdoor photography, but I've always been singing, still singing. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I'll never stop singing. I, right now I, I'm doing some things on my own. I put a band together once in a while. Or sometimes I'll do an a cappella show, uh, but I, I still sing. Uh, I had a group called the, the, the Spirits in the House for a while. Me and Tony Lynn and uh, Ernesto, Susie Ernesto, Craig Schallenberger, and it was an it was a a harmony group, and I used to do a lot of the old material, and and it was a lot of nice harmony. We we got together every Monday night for five years, and we'd sing out once in a while, and then that disbanded. But I'm still out there singing. I'm going to do a couple shows this year, a couple places. So it was a long journey, but it started in 1958. And still going strong today. Yeah, yeah. I still got my voice. I can still dance. That's, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'll tell you another nickname you've probably been called. This is truly Mr. Excitement. Sam, I want to thank you on behalf of BCTV and bringing such a world of knowledge. You really have a, a memory that doesn't quit. There's a lot of stuff going on in there, and I, my memory ain't what it used to be, but a lot of the important stuff I still remember. Sam, congratulations. Good luck. It's Thank been you. great to meet you tonight here at the Burks History Center and part of the Burks Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Well, the event is about to start. We're inside the reception room here at the Burks History Center. Here's where we're going to learn all the inductees tonight, all the celebrities of our local community. Burks County truly has enriched with a lot of great music talent. We are so grateful to the Burks History Center to allowing us, BCTV, to be part of this ceremony to bring it to you, the home viewer. Check them out every June of every year. They've been continually doing this annual event, the inductees into the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Check them out on Facebook and also on the web at the BerksHistoryCenter.org. Well, we once have found again the great Mr. Excitement on the keyboard, Carl Hausman. Carl, tell us about how it feels tonight being inducted to the Berks County Hall of Fame. I am honored and I am totally surprised. I never expected this. An email came uh, back in uh, about a month and a half ago, yeah. and Carolyn gave it to me, and I said, holy cow, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, that's, that's great. What so I, I, I just never expected this. This is fantastic. So I, I know this I, means so much to you and everything that you've received and worked for over the many decades performing. Yeah, many, many decades. Oh, my God. When I think back to it, so I started out with local neighborhood boys yeah. and uh, how, what it eventually evolved into. This is, this is wonderful. And I remember coming to Reading for the first time, 1967. Our band, the Kit Kats, did a concert at the Raja. It, it was in March of 1957. Yeah, we were sponsored uh, here by the Shirelli brothers. Do you remember them? Okay. Indeed. Yeah, we came up in the afternoon. It was a cold day in March, and we came up, and they took us up to Leesport, and we signed 45 and, and our albums for kids, and then they took us over to Gilbertsville. And then we did the same thing. And then we got a complimentary dinner at the Crystal Restaurant. Oh, wow. And then they accompanied us over to the, the Raja, where we went upstairs yes. and held the concert dance. And that was the first and only time we'd ever seen Reading. Our record was number one in the thanks to people like Charlie Adams and uh, all that. Very young Charlie Adams. And we wanted to uh, come back. But everything else got in the way. And it was six years later... I met a beautiful young Pennsylvania Dutch girl from Robazonia, and I asked her, forgive me, 
but where is Robizonia? She said, it's in Western Berks County. Yeah. I, I met her down in Lancaster. And she said, yeah. She said, you got to come out and see Berks County. She said, I'll show you around. So hubba hubba. It was the beginning. What a storyline. Hey, we're big fans, but if someone wants to follow you, where can they find you on Facebook or Google you to find out where you're performing? Uh, Google me. Let's see. Uh, Carl Hausman. That's K-A-R-L-H-A-U-S-M-A-N.com. And I have a website there. And... Uh, I can be reached easily through there. All the information is on my website. It says who the heck I am and how to reach me. Carl, it's always exciting. Thank you for taking the time out.
Thrifty Rag by Billy Joel. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm the communication director to this great event, Alexis. Tell us about your role, how busy you are up until this day, this event. What's going on? There's a lot of planning that goes into the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, as Sim told you, we have uh, quite a number of individuals that are inducted every year. Um, so part of that is that we have a committee that meets every year and they review some of the submissions. We have folks from the community that give us names of individuals that they think deserve to be in the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So that committee is made up of local musicians here in Berks County, people that have been part of Berks County's music scene. And they uh, determine, you know, based off of the musician's um, history, you know, what they've done in the community and what they've contributed to Berks County's music scene, whether or not they would be added to the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So there's definitely a lot of planning that goes on there, a lot of collecting of information. Um, also, uh, leading up to the event, we we really need to reach out and contact the individuals. Um, a lot of these individuals are, are folks that we don't personally know, so it's just a matter of tracking them down and letting them know that they've been inducted into the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, some of the members that we've added, and particularly this year, we've added a number of individuals who um, have already passed, and so we were notifying their families, letting them know, and we have quite a bit of uh, family members that are coming out to celebrate um, their, their family member who are being inducted. So it's a really neat community event. So if someone from the 60s or from whatever great time capsule they came out of and they say, hey, I, I kind of jam too, uh, how do I get in touch with this group? Because I want to be part of this organization and be part of the rock and roll Berks County Hall of Fame. Sure. Um, you can find us uh, on our website, berkshistory.org. Um, also, we have a Facebook page for the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's um, the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on Facebook. If you should do a little search, you can find it. Um, but also, if you have submissions, if you have somebody that you wanted to uh, suggest or nominate for an induction, you can email me directly at uh, publicity at berkshistory.org, and I receive all those submissions and then get them to the committee so that they can um, consider those people for induction. Well, I believe next year you're going to have a lot more become part of the induction to the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. With that information, if you're out there and you're thinking about, hey, I'm going to be part of this great organization, I'm going to bring my talent, what I did, and be recognized within all the other great organizations and rock and roll bands. Is this event usually held in the month of June? Yes. yes. So June of 2020 is where they want to be. Come out, support it, be part of the inductees of this great organization of the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thank you so much, Alexa. Thank you. Well, we certainly hope you enjoyed the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees this evening. Again, at the Berks History Center, right off of Center Avenue in downtown Reading. A lot of great people, musicians for many, many years. Come and check out that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame room. It is truly like taking a step back in time 50 years ago to Woodstock. 1969 and beyond. I'm Tom Frank, your victory host, wishing you all a great victory day here on location at the Berks History Center. Victory is supported by Chandler Lodge, 227 of the Free and Accepted Order of Masons.